Welcome to 1818 Farms. I'm Natasha McCrary, the owner, and I have an exciting video today that you guys have been requesting for a long time, and we just finally got around to filming this. I have so many questions when you guys see our videos. What is the white, what are the white squares that are over your crops? And if you look all around here, our summer annuals, the first front part of our field is planted, and we just finished netting today. We have one more row to go. For me, this is essential. A lot of flower farmers say, oh, I can't stand the netting, it's so much work. For me, this is, without this, it would just be a big mess of everything falling over, you know, a lot of work of corralling. I love the netting. What we use is a Hordanova netting, and this row is a couple of thousand feet. And so each of our rows is 70, 72 to 74 feet, and this is four feet wide. And it comes from Johnny Seeds. This lasts us a long time. One of the biggest misconceptions that I hear is, oh, but you're just wasting. You're not wasting if you're efficient, because if you're gonna see how we put the netting up, we have T posts on the ends. Each end has two T posts. Then we have these little fiberglass poles that I got from Amazon a few, many years ago. And at the end of the season, when it's time to lift everything up, we just lift, lift the poles fold them in together, and we roll the netting back up. And if the netting hasn't been damaged that much from cutting, we reuse the netting. You know, it's rolled up, it's very uh, small, it's compact, it's super easy to use the netting. You just have to really get it tight. That's the biggest mistake that we see is not having it tight enough. And sometimes even as um, the season goes on, we have to lift these poles and pull them tighter. It just, you need to have a little give from, from the ground. So this is, like I said, for me, in my opinion, essential. You may be able to buy some on Amazon. I'm not sure, but like I said, we use so much. We just order from Johnny's Seeds. But we're going to show you for the last row, we've already rolled out the actual netting, and we're going to go through. The guys have already put in the t post, and we're going to go through and just kind of demonstrate how we get it tight. Uh, we'll try and get a list at the, at, the, uh, at the end of the video of exactly what we needed. I'll look and see, it's been many years since I bought these on Amazon, but this was the most efficient. The main thing with these, they're fiberglass. You wanna make sure you have gloves on when you're putting them in because you get the little shards, but you know, they last a long time also. So come on out, we'll go over here and we're gonna actually put up the net. All right, so we're out in the field. I've got Tony and Stuart and they're gonna demonstrate how to uh, actually efficiently put up the net. And I wanted to show you, we pre-cut this. Typically we roll it, just hold it, and we run the roll out, but our roll's getting towards the end. And what we did is there's the T-post we were telling you about, and we're gonna hook a square here, a square on the opposite side, and then we put one of those little fiberglass poles in the middle because it helps with the tautness in the middle. And then they're basically just gonna walk it out. And so you're gonna see how simple it is just to walk it out. We already have the other T-post on the far end. And a lot of times what we do is we probably would have netted this a little bit earlier. Uh, this is a little bit late in the, in the end. And I'm going to go down and we're going to, it's got a little bit of a snag here where we hit, hit one of the poles, but nothing big. But what we're, you know, we just haven't really gotten this pinched and we were kind of late getting this planted. So we're going to pull this out. And then what we like to do is go down to the other end and attach on those T-posts. And then we'll come back to the end where I am and start with the fiberglass flat, fiberglass poles because it's going to become more taut. You have to start on one end or they may work on that other end down there, but we'll probably have them come back down to this end and start with the fiberglass poles. In the beginning of this, I always had a lot of problems with making the fiberglass poles very uh, taut. And so some people may not do this, but we use zip ties. And so I like to have one person on each side. You have your poles and make sure you have the pointy end in the bottom. A million times I've done it and not. You make sure your partner has their pole aligned and they're gonna pull it tight from the end. Then we're just gonna run the zip tie. And this just ensures that there's not slippage. And that's what we like to do. Not everyone may not do that, but for us this works and just helps us you know, give a little bit more stability and then it's not gonna be sliding up and down the fiberglass pole unless we want it to slide up and down because we may raise this netting a little uh, throughout the season as it goes.
So that was one complete row. And once you've done it, you're going to get you know, faster each time. And you may ask, why do you need all this netting? Now, where I'm standing, if you come, if we do a video in another four to six weeks, a lot of these flowers are going to be tall, as tall as me, like especially the zinnias, the cosmos, the lysianthus are right behind me. And those are actually even double netted. We plant those so tight on one row, we planted a six inch spacing. We have around 1200 plants just on a row. And all it takes is one heavy rain and your plants can fall right over. I'm going to try and search just a little picture of it for you to see how essential the netting is and how tall these flowers are going to get throughout the season. And the last thing that you want is to come out after a rain or a windstorm and all of your plants be blown over and broken. Look here and just see just one little example of how we've double netted on the Lysianthus. This is a row, one row here that we actually double net and we use T posts the full row. There's a couple of crops that we do that with, especially on the dahlias the Lysianthus, and a lot of times the Cosmos. They get so top heavy, the Cosmos end of the season will be over six feet tall. And so that's just very important that you do that. Um, if you have any questions about the netting, you know, feel free to leave me a message and I'll get back to you. But I promise, I know it may seem a little daunting at first, but you're going to be so happy. I can't imagine life without Hordanova netting. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon at the farm.